So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday. Now, in today's DAX Fridays, we're going to talk about a function that you probably haven't used and it's called is on or after. And this is one of these functions that does exactly what it says, what the name implies. If we read here on the documentation to what this function is supposed to do is not that clear though. So, I don't know, it says the function takes a variable number of triples, the first two values in a triple are the expressions, no, not even going to go there. We are going to see this with an example using summarized columns because it's just, it'll show you what it does super quickly. Um, how about we jump into Power BI and we take a look at these. Now, summarize columns. Summarize columns is a function that summarizes a table. It should be called summarize table, but either way, I have videos on summarized and summarized columns down below. Go check them out. But what we've done here, we're using the Northwind data set that this file is available for download at curval.com resources download center tax Fridays. So you can go and pick it up there. And um, how about we get started? Okay, summarize columns, summarize a table. So I have summarized a table, as you can see here, that picks the calendar year, and then it picks the category and adds sales. More details on the videos down below. Okay, so now let's say that we want to filter this table. So we want it just to, you know, summarize the table after a specific year. So obviously you can have, we saw it on the summarize columns video, you can write filter and then year, go check it, check that out if you want to know exactly how that is done. But there is another way to do it. Check this out. So we can write filter. We need that to be able to give instructions to summarize. And then we're going to use our famous season or after. And this is what it does, it's super cool. So we're going to pick the calendar year because we want to have the sales after, so 1997 after. So we pick 1997 and then ascending. And that's what it does. Obviously, if you want to use Falter, you will have to add every single year that you want. And if you want to, you know, forward, and new years come, you'll have to change this manually. This is a nice way to say from 1997 on. Now, can you add more columns? Let me show you. We go in here and we write month, calendar month number. And then in here, you can continue adding stuff. So you can have month, not that month. <laughs> you can have month number. It is up there. And then you can have Let's say that we want to have from 1997 July on, onwards. So seven ascending, and there you have it. Okay, so now you see what it does. What are the chances that you need this function? Not that big, but as always, there will be a time a calculation that this will be needed and now you know that it exists and how it works. Now, for what I've heard, this is used internally in the DAX engine to do, for example, pagination. So it's not that something that you might use that often, but there are some calculations out there where this is used and this is useful. Anyhow, now you know how it works. I hope that after this video, we can put aside the calc summarize columns and summarize and do something else. But hopefully this use, this video was useful. I will see you again on Monday as always. And until then, enjoy your weekend and bye-bye.